CNN is reporting that President Barack Hussein Obama called on Jesus, who, according to Obama, would back him up on his tax-the-rich policy. Obama said, quote, For me as a Christian, it also coincides with Jesus' teaching that, For unto whom much is given, much shall be required, unquote. Even though some scholars uh, have come out on the one side or the other on this issue, the greater question remains, since when did Obama give a rip about Jesus? Obama's policies would get exactly zero praise from the Jesus who walked the earth 2,000 years ago. You know, the one who claimed to be God and said there's no other way to heaven, the Father, etc., but through him. Jesus is the incarnate word of God. He is the creator of the universe and author of life itself. The Bible is his inspired text for the world, has Obama displayed anything but disdain for the Bible? Let's examine that. Homosexuality. Barack Obama's position on gay marriage has evolved to the point that he now favors it, yet the Bible is not silent on this matter, and Obama is on the wrong side, clearly. Romans chapter 1, beginning in verse 26, says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And Leviticus 18.22 says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. And the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta backs the Bible on this regard, with numbers showing that men who have sex with men are responsible for nearly two-thirds of all new HIV cases every year and is the only societal group in which new cases are on the rise. Clearly the president is out of touch on this. And what about abortion? Is the Bible silent on this? No, it is not. The shedding of innocent blood is one of those seven things that God despises from Proverbs chapter 6. Obama, through championing feminism and choice, has innocent blood on his hands through consent and, you know, this in spite of the evidence, which clearly points to dramatic effects on women who choose to kill their babies. Every reputable medical association recognizes the link between abortion and breast cancer, for example. Additionally, Obama has declared himself a Muslim more often than we've heard him call himself a Christian. We've also heard him credit Gandhi with his presidency, a man who openly mocked the Christian faith, the Bible, and Jesus. See our playlists for for a more video uh, testimony that Obama himself has, has labeled himself a Muslim many times. As for taxes, the Bible has much to say about Obama's policy regarding this. In fact, Obama should rather have substituted the name Jesus with Robin Hood. Taking from the rich is stealing. Exodus chapter 20 lists ten commandments in which one says stealing is a sin, Mr. President. Thou shalt not steal. When Jesus approached Matthew, the tax collector, he simply called to him and said, follow me. Matthew did just that. He gave up his tax collection job and followed the Lord. The point is more aptly made when Paul suggests in 2 Thessalonians that if a man doesn't work, that man should be allowed to starve. Charity toward the lazy man often involves harsh lessons which drive the laziness out and allow the person to experience the joy of eating one's own bread rather than stolen food provided by the crook in the White House who uses the tax system to ensure a re-election bid. So once again, the communist-in-chief is caught in his own trap, citing Jesus as the authority to, to tax the achievers is a sad attempt at sounding spiritual and learned, while serious students of the word who actually know the Lord and what it means to be a Christian are beyond buying any of it. Hypocrite, thy name is Obama.